this is a this is a question. I'm going to answer a question that I get asked all the time uh, by a lot of small business owners, and that is about how to attract the right type of customer or client to their business. So there's there's often a lot of frustration about kind of attracting the tire kickers or attracting you know, the wrong type of people to their business. You know, people are very concerned about making sure that their marketing and their content marketing really kind of hits a nail on the head with the right type of client or customer. And we all know how damn satisfying it is to do business with the right people. You know, how good is it when you get someone, you know, I'm in in professional services. So say, for example, if you're in the professional services industry and you provide advice as, as, you know, your service offering, how rewarding is it to get people that value the advice that, that you give and that value advice full stop. Um, you know, if, you, if you're selling products, how amazing is it when someone actually values the product for what it is or values the convenience that you offer them in, your, in, in how you kind of get that product to them? Um, it's just so worthwhile. And how painful is it when we attract the wrong type of person who just doesn't get it? who doesn't get where the value is with with our businesses and our brands. Um, You know, that often leads to, you know, complaints. Um, It can lead to, um, you know, bad reviews um, or it can or it can lead to indifference, which is is kind of um, probably one of the worst things that you can have, because these people aren't even telling you that there's a problem. They're just kind of going, you know, if someone asks about your business, they're just going to be really, really unenthusiastic about it. And, um, and they're not going to be a raving fan. So, so we want to attract the raving fans. We want to attract the people who are right for our business that value what we do, because they're going to be our profitable clients and customers. And that's what we're in business for after all. So the biggest thing The biggest recommendation I think I have for attracting the right type of customer is knowing exactly who that right type of customer is, knowing them inside out. So yes, you know, let's look at the description and the demographics of that customer. You know, who are they in terms of their age, their their life stage, their gender, um, their, you know, where they live, all of those sorts of things, you know, how much disposable income they've got, depending on, on, on what you sell. So, yeah, that's really important. But we also want to know, you know, their mindset. You know, for me, for example, it's really important that I work with motivated small business owners who are really ambitious to grow their business. Because if you're not really ambitious to grow your business, that's absolutely fine but there's no point investing in marketing because marketing, when you, when you, when you decide to invest in marketing, you know, you, you've got to, you've got to assume that that's actually going to, to contribute to, to growth. And if it's not, then you're doing it all wrong. So, so it's really important as a mindset that I identify those small business owners who are motivated and ambitious to grow their business, because otherwise they're just going to see marketing as a cost and they're not going to embrace the value of marketing. So who, the, the best way that you can do this is if you've got an existing business, um, think about your best clients or your best customers. Think about one in particular, or, and you can do this exercise across your segments because you might have different you know, target audiences for, for the different products and services that you sell. So for each kind of segment, think of the perfect client or customer and and picture them in your mind. And just then write down everything you know about that customer. So, you know, there's all the demographic stuff that that we spoke about. You know, what about, you know, what, what are their biggest pain points? What are their aspirations? Who are the people that influence them? What media do they tend to consume? 
Think about every single little aspect about that person and then even look at why do you think it is that they value your business so much? Like what is it about what you do that they really love and it keeps them coming back? Um, and, and really profile this person as much as you can. And because, you know, if they're a really good customer, you should have some good knowledge about them. If you don't, if you feel like that you just don't know the, the answers to a lot of these questions, pick up the phone, take them for coffee, take them for a wine and ask them, you know, why is it that, what, what is it that you really love about us? You know, what's the value that we bring? What's the problem that we solve? You know, ask them about their mindset. What is it that you're looking to achieve, you know, in your family or in your business or in your life, however you're actually, you know, showing up for them. Um, and get to know them. I mean, I always recommend to get to know your customers as well as you know your husband or your best friend. Like you, you know, you can kind of, you know, you can buy them something for Christmas because you know them so well. You know what they like. You know what their values are. Um, you, you know what they don't like. Most importantly, you know that's that's the kind of intimacy that you want to know your your ideal client because when you have that certainty when you have that information, that's going to guide your marketing and every decision that you make about your marketing, what channel, how often do we show up, what kind of content do we put out there, it's all going to be targeted towards that person. What does Irene think? I always give my target avatars a name. Okay, so we're thinking of doing this. What would Irene, how would Irene, you know, would Irene react to this? Would Irene find this, this helpful? It just helps us be clear. And when we're clear, our marketing becomes clear. And when our marketing becomes clear, it's really, really clear for our prospective clients as to whether they want to do business with us. So if you want to attract the right type of customer or client, make sure you know exactly what that right type of customer or client looks like.